गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सिक्यूज फॉर एलेवेंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अवर सेशन वॉट इज इंडियाज जी एस टी कलेक्शन फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो इंडियाज क्रॉस रेवेन्यूज फ्रॉम द जी एस टी हिट अ थ्री मंथ हाई to cross 1.65 lakh crore rupees in july 2023 and the collections in the month of july were 2.2% higher than the previous month's gst collection however at 10.8% it was the slowest uptick in the collections since july 2021 compared to revenues from the same month last year okay simply what is india's gst collection for the month of july answer would be 1.65 lakh crore rupees okay here we will see three important figures that we have to remember first of all how many income tax returns have been filed for annual year 23 to 24 this data is 6.77 crore okay then as per the stans research report india's per capita income is likely to grow 4000 dollars by fiscal 2023 this will actually help the country to become a middle income economy with 6 trillion dollars gdp right you can be asked that india's per capita income is likely to grow how much by fiscal 2030 sorry it is 2030 so answer would be 4000 dollars then the third figure is Recently IMF means International Monetary Fund has raised the forecast for India's GDP growth for the current fiscal to 6.1% from earlier 5.9% that was predicted in the month of April why because of a stronger domestic investment okay so IMF has basically raised the forecast for India's GDP growth for the current fiscal to 6.1% so these are the three important data that we have to remember next question is which state or the union territory has launched the amrit briksh andolan application so the chief minister of assam state mr hemant biswa sharma has launched the department of forest and environments amrit briksh andolan web portal or mobile application and the wood based industry registration web portal along with the theme song for the amrit briksh andolan basically it is an initiative the aim of which is to plant a total of 1 crore commercially viable saplings across the state by the individuals from various walks of life okay simply which state has launched the amrit briksh andolan application answer is the assam state also few days back assam was in news because of gaja kotha campaign right this campaign was launched here so as to reduce the human animal conflict okay then assam has how many national parks there are seven national parks in the state of assam which are these the first one is orang orang national park second is manas the third one is dihing patkai the fourth is kaziranga and the fifth is dibru sakhova and the sixth one is raimona and one last is nameri okay so these are the seven national parks of assam state next question is unmesh and the utkarsh festivals were inaugurated in which state or the union territory so the president of india draupadi murmu is scheduled to visit bhopal in the state of madhya pradesh to inaugurate two events that is the unmesh and the utkarsh festival Unmesh is basically international literature festival and Utkarsh is a folk and tribal performing art festival. So these events are organized by the Ministry of Culture in collaboration with Sahitya Academy and Sangeet Natak Academy respectively, okay? So Unmesh and Utkarsh festivals were inaugurated in the state of Madhya Pradesh recently. Now if we talk about some of the important festivals The first one is Bhogali Bihu. Bihu is a dance festival of Assam state. 
सेकेंड वन इज युगाडी युगाडी इज फ्रॉम आंध्र प्रदेश एंड कर्नाटका दिस फेस्टिवल इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन बोथ द स्टेट्स द थर्ड वन इज हॉर्नबिल हॉर्नबिल इज अ वेरी फेमस फेस्टिवल ऑफ नागालैंड स्टेट द फोर्थ वन इज पोंगल पोंगल इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु देन द फिफ्थ वन इज बथू कम्मा बथू कम्मा हैज बिन आस्ड मेनी अ टाइम्स इन योर एग्जामिनेशन एंड बथू कम्मा इज अ काइंड ऑफ फ्लोरल फेस्टिवल दैट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना देन नेक्स्ट वन इज खर्ची पूजा खर्ची पूजा इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ त्रिपुरा एंड वन लास्ट इज खजुराहो फेस्टिवल एंड एज द नेम सजेस्ट खजुराहो इज फ्रॉम मध्य प्रदेश एंड वन लास्ट इज राजा फेस्टिवल एंड इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ ओडिशा ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री हैज रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ फ्रेश वीजा कैटेगरी नेम्ड एज आयुष वीजा सो द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स हैज रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ फ्रेश वीजा कैटेगरी नेम्ड एज आयुष वीजा टू केटर टू द फॉरन नेशनल्स हु सीक मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट दैट इंक्लूड्स थ्रोपैटिक केयर वेलनेस एंड योगा इन आवर कंट्री इंडिया एंड दिस आयुष वीजा हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू एड्रेस द रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर अ डेडिकेटेड वीजा प्रोग्राम फॉर द फॉरन विजिटर्स हु सीक ट्रीटमेंट अंडर द आयुष सिस्टम्स और इंडियन मेडिसिन ओके सो रिसेंटली मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ फ्रेश कैटेगरी ऑफ वीजा द नेम ऑफ विच इज आयुष वीजा नो अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट रिसेंटली द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फिनेंस हैज लॉन्च्ड अ सेटलमेंट स्कीम फॉर कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल डिस्प्यूट्स विद वेंडर्स और द सप्लायर्स टू द गवर्नमेंट एंड इट्स अंडरटेकिंग्स एंड दिस इज विवाद से विश्वास टू means contractual dispute and it was announced during this year's union budget so 31st of october has been set as a deadline for the firms department of expenditure to submit their claims for consideration simply you can be asked that which union ministry launched vivad se vishwas to contractual dispute scheme answer would be ministry of finance and our finance minister is nirmala sitaraman then apart from it which union ministry has recently launched the e care portal this is union health ministry recently health ministry has announced the launch of e care means e clearance for after life remains portal to bring bodies from abroad and nodal officers from the airport health organizations will monitor the portal throughout the day okay the full form of e care is e clearance for after life remains okay and this portal is associated with ministry of health and family welfare who is our minister this is mansukh mandavi next question is star lab station is a joint venture of voyager space and which particular institution actually the international space station has entered its final phase of operation with international agreements running until 2028 to 2030 with a view to replace orbital complex as a part of public private partnership nasa has launched different programs so voyager space and airbus has recently announced the creation of a joint venture so as to build and operate this star lab station and this joint venture will have a european gv entity to serve the european space agency and the space agencies of its member states so star lab station is basically a joint venture of voyager space and air bus then apart from it the vostok station is a russian research station in which region basically it is a russian research station in antarctica and scientists have successfully grown watermelons at this station which is located at the pole of cold so this impressive accomplishment marks a significant achievement in agricultural sector within the challenging conditions of antarctica fine so vostok station is a russian research station in antarctica the next question is typhoon doksuri has hit which country recently actually in the city of beijing the amount of rain over the past week has broken a 140 years old record after being hit by typhoon doksuri 
and uh, it is causing now widespread devastation leading to thousands of evacuations so nearly 10 people have died till now and 18 are missing and officials have obviously evacuated millions of people from this region so typhoon tuksuri has hit the country china now few days back we have talked about cyclone bipar joy it was in news and uh, it has hit the southeastern arabian sea right and it originated from southeastern arabian sea basically in india it hits our western coast fine important thing is this name has been given by which country answer is bangladesh bangladesh has given this cyclone the name bipar joy okay then there is one more cyclone that was in news few days back it is cyclone moka and cyclone moka has hit the country myanmar and uh, to help the country myanmar indian government has launched a particular operation the name of which is operation karuna okay then another operation by indian government is operation kaveri and indian government has launched this operation to evacuate indian citizens from the country sudan because there was some conflict going on in the country sudan okay so during this evacuation many people from hakki pikki tribe have been also evacuated by india and uh, this tribe predominantly lives in the state of karnataka okay next is which country has organized the operation shield exercise so this is a police operation that targeted criminal gangs in the slums in rio de janeiro in the country brazil so nearly 45 people have lost their lives in a recent series of lethal security force operations that was conducted in the country brazil so operation shield exercise has been organized by brazil country now apart from it the ocean shield 2023 exercise has been organized by which country in the baltic sea so this exercise is a live fire naval exercise that has been carried out in the baltic sea by the country russia and the drill involves 30 military vessels and the boats 20 support vessels 30 naval aviation and aerospace forces of russian aircraft and about 6000 troops okay so ocean shield exercise has been organized by the country russia recently next question is which city is the host of g20 environment and climate sustainability ministerial meeting so the g20 environment and climate sustainability ministerial meeting concluded recently in the city of chennai and this event concluded without reaching consensus on significant climate related matters and crucial topics like transitioning away from fossil fuels remained unresolved during the meeting okay simply you have to remember what is the venue of the g20 environment and climate sustainability financial ministerial meeting answer would be chennai city then apart from it let's talk about some of the venues of g20 which are important the first one is the g20 development ministers meeting and the venue for this meeting is varanasi city second one is the g20 supreme audit institution summit and the venue for this summit is goa the next is the second g20 anti corruption working group meeting and the venue for this meeting is rishikesh that lies in the state of uttarakhand the next one is the third g20 sherpas meeting and the venue is hampi in the state of karnataka next is the g20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting and the venue is gujarat fine these are some of the important meetings under g20 that have took place recently the next question is after approval from us which country is set to sell its david sling anti missile defense system to the country finland so the us government has granted approval for israel country to sell the air david sling anti missile defense system to the country finland and following the approval israel's ministry of defense and the finnish ministry of defense and rafael advance system and the israeli defense contractor 
which is responsible for developing the system will collaborate in a signing ceremony for a procurement agreement that is valued at around 316 million euros okay so us has given the approval to the country israel that they can sell their david sling anti missile defense system to the country finland and talking about finland recently finland has joined the nato and with this finland is the 31st member of nato okay full form is north atlantic treaty organization headquartered lies in brussels in belgium now apart from it what is the total number of documented cyber incidents targeting government organizations or systems in 2023 up to june so the indian computer emergency response team that is cert in which is responsible for overseeing cyber security incidents in india documented cyber incidents targeting the government organizations or systems for the years 2018 to 2023 that is up to june and the reported incidents were 70798 in 2018 then 85797 in 2019 further it increased and now it is 112474 in 2023 okay so what is the total number of documented cyber incidents targeting government organizations or systems in 2023 answer would be 112474 Next is which country released the guidelines for the construction of minor mode of the mobile internet so the internet regulator of the country china recently released the draft of the guidelines for the construction of minor mode of the mobile internet basically it proposes regulations to restrict the children's smartphone usage to a maximum of 2 hours per day and it mandated all the tech companies to implement a minor mode with certain limitations okay so recently china has released the guidelines for the construction of minor mode of mobile internet china was also in news because of its silk roadster platform yesterday we have talked about it and you can be asked that which country has launched the silk roadster platform answer would be china also china was in news because of falcon shield 23 exercise which is a joint military exercise of china and ua then after that can you tell me which is the fourth country to sign just energy transition partnership deal so this is senegal country and which are the rest three countries to join this deal so these are south africa indonesia and vietnam okay then which country is associated with clean up to clean energy plan answer is usa fine now next question is which city has deployed artificial intelligence powered smart pedestrian crossing system so in collaboration with derk dubai silicon osis has successfully deployed 14 artificial intelligence based intelligent pedestrian crossing system and this newly implemented system utilizes ai algorithms especially designed to identify and monitor the vehicles and other road users as they approach the pedestrian crosswalk so recently dubai has deployed this ai powered smart pedestrian crossing system okay don't forget that twitter has changed its logo recently from a bird to now alphabet x alphabet x is a new logo of twitter okay then ahmednagar district in the state of maharashtra has been renamed as ahilya bai holkar recently okay then apart from it as per the recent data what is the number of hours of housework per day that is done by women in india so as per a recent survey women do 7 hours of housework per day and men do 3 hours per day in india So Tamil Nadu government has launched different camps to facilitate the registration of applicants for the women's basic income scheme that is Kalaignar Magalia Uri Maith Ho Gayi Thittam scheme and this scheme will provide 1000 rupees per month to the women in eligible household okay 
So you can be asked that as per a recent data, what is the number of hours of housework per day done by women in India? Answer would be seven hours. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahad Sana, signing off.